Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm here today to bring you a channel message. You guys, I just had my coffee. Yep. And uh, I popped a huge story. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm really, right now, as I'm sitting here, Every oh, the only thing I can look at... See, I look, when I do my readings, you guys, I have the table here, my phone on a stand right here. And so, and then the stand is in between my knees, and I'm like shuffling with the stand in between me, and all I'm looking at is my phone. So, there's all this other stuff that's going on around me, but I am looking through the square of my phone. So, I see the same view as you do. All right, so all I see right now is the bird seed stuck in the crack. Uh huh. And those are the star seeds that are stuck in the icy cold crevasse. Yes. All right. So uh, somebody may be a star seed. Okay. Or uh huh. Their job maybe to help star seeds. Okay. Come out of the icy cold crevasse. Okay. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're starting here the story. Yes, with the three of wands. This person, this masculine, it's a masculine. He's using a lot of strength right now. Yep, he's riding the lion. Uh-huh. His ego was really getting worked on. Yep, yep, yep. And he's looking right now, the lion, his great big ego that he rides around like a pony. Yes. Uh-huh. Is watching the feminine release. And she's flying away. We have release with the moon. There she is. Yep. He has been spending quite a long time in the hangman position. Spirit hung him up upside down so he could see something from a totally different perspective. Yep. And he did. Yes. And now, uh-huh. Somehow she's energetically cut the cord. She's released and she's flown away. And here's spirit. It's hard to see. Uh-huh. Her spirit right now, cutting him down. Yeah, saying you've had enough rest. Uh huh. He may have been laying in bed watching on TV, watching her. Uh huh. Here's the masculine right here. Uh huh. All right, this is divine masculine energy. So while he was getting enlightened and into divine masculine energy, he may have been wa I see this as watching somebody on TV or watching TV. He may have just been resting and watching. Yep. Okay. All right. My birds are making a really cool noise. Weird noise. Yes. Okay. And he was watching her. There she is. She's showing up as the Six of Wands. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Here, I'm going to try to pick him up now. I'll show you. Okay. Uh, she, while well, he's been hanging in the tree, getting enlightened, seeing things from a totally different perspective. Yes, she has found complete self-love. Yep. Uh, some sort of wish has come true for her, uh-huh, that's allowed her to feel triumphant, successful. She may be hot shit in what she does, really good at what she does, something like that. Spirit has helped her with this, okay. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. All right. Uh, this masculine may be getting affected by this moon cycle. Uh-huh. He's getting illuminated on his ego and how it had blocked him from this divine feminine. We have blockage. Noise is blockage. The rooster is the ego. He may be drinking. He may be reflecting. He may be in a really sad state right now. Yep. Uh, and he's, all he can think about is how he screwed up this reward with her. Yep. The Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Queen of Pentacles. Look how abundant she is. Oh, my gosh. She may have a vegetable garden, something like this. Maybe a gardener. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. He may, uh, uh-huh. 
You may talk to a therapist or somebody mm -hmm. about her. Okay. He has now watched, uh-huh, somebody else come in. What the fuck? Yup, look at, he's like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. She was supposed to wait for me, uh-huh, to get to the very top of the mountain with my nine of wands. Yup, what the fuck? Who is this person? Yup. And he's realizing she brings a lot of peace and she's a lot, a unicorn to a lot of people, not just him. Uh-huh. And now he's realizing, oh, shit. Uh-huh. He hurt her feelings somehow. Really bad. Yep. We have sorrow showing up right next to the Three of Swords. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see her in solitude both times. Yeah. Uh-huh. He may have abandoned her, left her, split on her, did something not so awesome. Yep. There's five swords here. He may have, uh-huh, played some mind games, tried to win at all costs, trying to get to the top of the mountain first. Okay, something like that. All right. Uh, this, wait a minute, this new person coming in, what the actual fuck? He's saying, you're supposed to be waiting for me, okay? Oh shit, I hurt her feelings, uh-huh. And now she's walking away, what the fuck, okay. Now he's doing self-reflecting, yes. We have quiet, quiet, mm-hmm. It's when somebody goes into each chamber of their heart. It could be her, too. Takes a look around, see what's in there, uh-huh. And they're seeing, yep, listen to that bird, uh-huh. Somebody yelling at somebody, somebody not being so nice, somebody uh, not giving someone a chance, someone being a fire starter and a low vibe, being mischievous, uh-huh. And it could be just energetically mean, yep, mm-hmm. Have you ever had someone energetically spit in your face but smile at you? Oh, yeah, uh-huh. That can be felt for sure. Uh-huh, he's realizing it, and he's like, oh, shit. This big burden that I created, oh, my God, it killed my chance with her. I need to talk to her immediately, see if I can do something about this. I got to get this out of this rocky waters, out of this fire situation. Why did I do that? Uh-huh, into some calmer, smoother waters, but I have to talk to her about it. Oh, my God, how do I talk to her about it? Okay. This is a spiritual lesson for both of these people. Uh-huh. We have a spiritual lesson showing up. She's showing up here with the Nine of Swords, and he also has the Nine of Swords. All right, it looks like she's just kind of going about her business. Uh-huh, she may be doing something with her hair. Somebody may have, uh-huh, uh looked at their split ends lately, recently, something like that, yep. All right. Uh-huh, I've seen this red mark on my table right now. Somebody may have dyed their hair. Okay. All right. Uh, the masculine over here is having full-on nightmares. Yep, stressing out, freaking out. Spirit's working on him. Yep. Teaching him about the spiritual lesson. Uh-huh, working on his internal compass. Yep, because it went a little haywire. Yep. Uh-huh. We have the King of Wands that dropped in and showed him. Uh huh. What's what? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. And what's what is some devil energy came in. Yeah. Uh huh. I see the devil holding an ice cream cone and a money bag. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, somebody may have been, had some narcissist abuse. Uh huh. Uh, I do have a reading, Narcissist Abuse, Want to Get Ice Cream, yep, makes me think of that, okay. Um, this person, or both of these people, we see this hooded figure looking at the couple having the discussion, yes, uh-huh. 
And I see sword, yes, okay. Uh huh. All right, they're trying to figure out, yep, the seven swords plus this one sword is eight of swords, yep, they're all bound up, trying to figure out how to have this discussion, okay. This person may wear hoodies, they may like to wear hoodies. Yeah, a cat may mean something. They may be really smitten with the feminine right now. Uh-huh, but they've just been hiding, holding back, not saying anything. Because there may have been some past devil energy. Uh -huh. They may have lashed out. They may have done something. Ice cream may mean something. Uh-huh. Okay. It's all they can think about. It's giving him nightmares because he loves her and he treated her like shit. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Okay. King of Wands is like, yep, you have to watch out for that devil energy. All right. Here's the lovers showing up here Uh huh. with divine timing. All right. So divine timing is at play. Spirit is totally at work here. Uh-huh. Working on this person. Uh, maybe helping them to, uh-huh. To use their intuition more, uh huh. They may, uh, somebody may be a psychic, an indigo child, somebody who was born with uh, abilities. Somebody's realizing that, uh huh. Uh, he's realizing his moral compass went a little haywire. Okay. And all this is happening at home. He may be thinking about having this person come over. Yep, look at the lights shining on the home. He wants her in his house. Yep, to bring the light. Okay. All right. So there's the story. Let's see who this is for. Who's this reading for? Who's this reading for? Who's this reading for? Who is this message for? Capricorn! It's for you. All right, Cappy! There's your reading for today. Uh, if you, Capricorn, now that's the first part of your reading. Yes, yes, yes. The second part is the interactive part down in the comments. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. okay, now I see the goat saying to the uniform, the uniform, okay, look at my horn, okay, okay, uh, somebody may be like, um, uh-huh, giving, uh-huh, look at my horn, middle finger, uh-huh, Somebody may be worried that the unicorn, uh-huh, is giving them the middle finger. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. So, uh, that's the first part of your reading. Yep. The second part is down in the comments. Oh, uh, how bad do you have to be to piss off a unicorn? Okay. He, uh, he's having feelings of shame or regret. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's learning a very tough spiritual lesson right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. There is a lot of passion in it. The King of Wands. Yeah. The most passionate person. Teaching him all sorts of stuff. Yeah. All right. But, oh, look at, look at, look at. There's like some major. Whoa! Here, here he comes. I can see the sun, I can see the, see the, see the sun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh-huh. He's getting alchemized for sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's got to make a move. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, so the second part of your reading is down in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe before you click any links so you can find your way back. If you like how I read, uh, if you take the time to give a thumbs up, I totally appreciate it. Helps me, helps my channel. And I think it's totally cool. Uh, if you want a Chris Mancy shop, there's a link right there. Okay, Cappy, there's your message. Bye-bye.